Welcome and congratulations to the winners, Pursuit Competition Men. First position, Christoph Zuman, Austria. Second position, Simon Foucault, France. And third position, Martin Foucault, France. And Michael Slessinger, Czech Republic. Christoph, how much of a surprise is the win today? Uh, of course, it's uh, for me it's a big surprise because I've had a lot of troubles the last weeks and months. So I started quite good in the season with a podium in Östersund, but everything in between was uh, uh, not that good, and I was really thinking about to quit uh, what I started this season. And but yeah, it's always a good feeling to be here, and I don't know, it's I like the tracks and. I like the cold weather, and yeah, I, s I felt quite good before I came to Sochi. You know, in Sochi, I had a r big problem with the height, and when I arrived on Monday, I felt my strength was, was coming back, and and was, I was doing better from day to day. So it's of course it's, uh, it's a big surprise after after the of all the troubles I had. Does winning today give you a great motivation now for the next year and especially the long training period in between? No, no, no. <laughs> now, of course, yes. Of course, yes. It's a big <laughs> I, I've been training for about more than 20 years, so it's always hard to, to, to get over a summer of, of, of hard and extra training. So it's, of course, it's, it's a big, a big step of motivation for me to to make one year and quit after the Olympics. You, but actually the whole Austrian team is very good here in Kanti. Why? I I guess it maybe it's the national drink who is pushing forward the Austrian team. I don't know, maybe it must be the vodka. So we try to take some vodka every evening in the team, so maybe this is the reason. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's, <laughs> it's uh, several years, we, we all, every time we're doing quite well here. I guess uh, we good skis, good shooting. I don't know, it's the, mostly the end of the season. Everybody's happy to stop after Hunty, and maybe this is a big step of motivation for us. And <laughs> I don't know. Simon. Second time now with your brother on the podium. How special is this? Yeah, second time with Martin on the podium and uh, second time in front of him. So uh, <laughs> I have just a quote who come in my head like that. You're good boy, really young, <laughs> really good. But until I will be on the podium, you will be always behind me. <laughs> no, but <laughs> no, it, uh, it's really great to be with him and, uh, and I really enjoy that. It's, uh, it's always a, a great pleasure to be uh, on the podium with the family. You had a tough season with the operation right at the beginning, coming back to World Cup 4, then you had some bad luck, also a little bit with material. Does this show you now that everything now is in good order? Yeah, it's uh, maybe a bit late <laughs> because it's the end of season, but uh, no, I'm really happy to uh, to be back. I knew that the, the beginning of season, even the middle, will be really hard for me, and uh, now uh, now we, I feel really better In, during the warm up. I uh, I had really good feelings on uh, when is when is day. Sorry, I was al um, also sick uh, because uh, I had problem with my stomach so uh, it was uh, yeah I had really good feelings on the warm-up today and I knew I I would have a good a good race but I thought I was a bit too far for the podium I came back from the place number 22 to the podium for the second place so yeah it's it was an amazing race for me and I'm really happy I did it today thank you mr. bond thanks <laughs> Marta, you seem to have trouble with your eyes today did this affect your shooting uh, it was not not about my ace, but more about uh, snow and uh, and uh, frozen condition today. Uh, but um, yeah, I, I had problems and it was a really bad shooting for me. I think the worst of the season, and uh, I'm uh, sad about it. But I think it will be a good thing for tomorrow. My start, I will be angry. Was it hard to be chasing Simon today? Uh, no, because uh, uh, I, I knew on the last lap that I can't catch him. Uh, Simon was uh, too far behind me and uh, in front of me, and uh, yeah, I knew that uh, it would be really hard. But 
there is no difference between uh, Simon and uh, Sumi or Slesinger. Mm -hmm. I want to, to win, but sure, uh, there is a lot of affect with Simon, and uh, I'm uh, really happy to be on the podium today again with him. And uh, uh, I, kn I know and uh, I knew before the way that uh, he can do something and that he is always dangerous. I, I trained with him from uh, almost 10 years now, and uh, uh, he is. Really dangerous. <laughs> Mata, it seems that each time you are with your brother on the podium, there is another added thrill. Uh, tell us about your feelings after you heard, oh, there is a problem. I was uh, more quiet than last year in uh, Novemesto with exactly the same uh, position. And uh, yeah, I, I was quiet and I, uh, I wait for the jury decision and I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm happy. Michael, pretty unique you have to have two third positions up here, four people on the podium. Can you tell us about the essential uh, situation at the shooting range? Yeah, on the first standing we arrived in group like, I think we were five or six guys on the first group. And uh, Andy Birnbacher was standing on line number four. I was on three, and he started to shoot to my target. So I was, I raised my hand. I was uh, waving for referees, and uh, waiting till they will clean my target again, so I can shoot. And it took them a lot of time to recognize what happened, to clear my target. So I spent a lot of time there. I also lost the contact with the group, which wasn't good for me. And uh, also the long delay on the standing affected my run after that, because uh, that long time standing there, uh, it felt for me like uh, the first climb after the, sh after the shooting range. I felt my legs were a little bit more tired. and. Uh, then, you know, it, if it happens in sprint or in some uh, competition where uh, you are running against time, it's not a big deal, but if it happens in the must start or pursuit relays, those uh, time advantages and bonuses, it really makes the uh, competition and it's by my side, I think that it's a really good solution by the jury that they decided they will put us both on the third place because uh, they counted that my time advantage should be probably more, like 25 seconds, but uh, we all know that Martin can run much faster the last loop than he did today because he just didn't have a reason. So it's a really good solution and I'm happy with it. Martin, for you, it's also the right decision? Yeah, it's also a good position. Um, I think it's fair for both of us because uh, I uh, didn't know before. I don't, uh, yeah, I, I didn't, didn't know that uh, Michal uh, have a uh, time adjustment. And um, so I stopped to ski on the last uh, loop when I saw that I can't catch Simon and uh, Lucas Hofer can't catch me. So, yeah. Uh, I think it's good for for both of us, fair, and there is no polemic like it. Michael, it's actually the first podium for you in the season. Uh, how you are surprised about that? Uh, after yesterday, after sprint, where I felt really good on the tracks, I was skiing fast, and I always have good feelings from Hunty. I like the tracks here. So I believe that I can make a really good result. But I probably didn't expect that I will be on the podium, or at least I was afraid to expect that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, when I when I shoot clear on the prones, I believe that I, I can be on the podium. So the surprise was not that big. <laughs> Do we have questions? No? Thank you very much.